Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to be giving you a little bit of inspiration for spring, showing you my makeup, hair, nails and outfit. I'm going to start with my makeup and I think for long lasting makeup in the warmer months it's all about light layering. For my base I'm going to start with the Olay Total Effects Pore Minimizer CC Cream. This can be used as a CC cream but it can also be used as a primer which is what I am using it for. It's very sheer coverage so it works great as a primer and it has a slight tackiness to it which means that it's really good under your foundation or BB cream or whatever you want to use. This definitely sits somewhere between makeup and skincare but I really like the smell of this and I think it works really well. It's like a skincare primary base. So I just apply that evenly all over my skin. And then I'm gonna be using a really light foundation. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. And I like to apply this with my hands sometimes. Again, those light layers really help your makeup last. And I'm just applying it with my fingers where I need the coverage. So I'm just applying it on my chin and all around my face really, around my nose. But using your fingers means that you can really work it into the skin and you can build on those layers as much coverage as you need or want. This is a really, really nice light foundation. It's got slight kind of shimmer particles in it, but nothing glittery. It just catches on the light really nicely and it's a really nice foundation for spring summer I think I wore it all summer last year. I then like to use my concealer to add any coverage where I need it so I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Concealer I'm still obsessed with this just on my chin around my nose down my nose under my eyes and on any other blemishes. I'm not going to use my fingers to blend this in because I find it a little bit messy with concealer but I'm going to use my setting brush and just buff that into the skin. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here and this is a new product from Chanel. It's part of their Le Beige collection and it's the all-in-one healthy glow fluid SPF 15. This is like a liquid bronze. It smells just like all the Chanel products. It smells so good. I have that um, Soleil de Tan cream bronzer. It's quite hard to work with. I do like it but I find this much easier to use. So it's a liquid bronzer. I like to pat a little bit into the contours of my cheeks in a sort of triangle shape and I like to pat it in a little bit with my fingers to kind of get it going with the blending. Then taking the Real Techniques contour brush I just blend that in and this is so so easy to blend out and sheer out. It's really nothing too orange or too brown. It's very subtle and so so pretty. You you could probably put this all over your skin if you really wanted to bronze things up but I'm just going to put it into the contours of my cheekbones up into my temples and take the excess just over my nose so it has that nice sun-kissed bronzy look. So I just want to set a bit of the foundation and concealer in place but I don't want this to be a heavy powder look at all so I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light because these powders are so so lightweight and you can really hardly see it on the skin. So I'm just gently patting that onto my chin, around my nose, under my eyes which is where I need to kind of set my concealer in place. This is also a new product and I really like wearing highlighters in the spring, summer. I kind of wear them all year round, but this one's new from Charlotte Tilbury. Look at the packaging, that is so, so pretty. It's called the Dreamy Glow Highlighter. It's part of her Norman Parkinson collaboration range. It's just the packaging is dreamy. But the product inside is really pretty as well. It's kind of a light pinky gold highlight and I love those golden undertone highlights. They suit me much better than the white highlighters. So this is really nice just on the tops of your cheekbones. It's not too much so you can definitely wear it during the day. It's just a very subtle highlighty glow. So I've added a bit of bronze with the Chanel fluid but I still feel like I need a little bit of a flush to my cheeks and I always like to wear blush with any look. So I'm going to be using this new one from Kiko that I bought recently. It's the Mosaic Blush in New Sand Rose. This is so pretty. I Instagrammed this recently and you guys all seem to like the look of it. It's this got this really pretty mosaic pattern to it. So it's got a bit of rose, a bit of taupe in there, and some lighter highlighty shades as well. So you could probably use this right up into the cheekbones as a highlighter as well, but it's a really pretty rosy blush. Before I do my eyes, I always like to fill in my brows, and for this I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and just fill in the front parts of my eyebrows and slightly on the arch. And then I like to set it in place with a clear brow gel. Okay, now onto the eyes. I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I really like pinky, purpley tones during spring, and this palette just kind of has it all. It's got such pretty shades in here. I really really love this palette but the two shades that I always tend to go for are Liar and Nuna. So I'm going to take Liar all over the lid but a really light dusting. I just take it off in the back of my hand first and then lightly dust it all over the lid with a big fluffy brush. I then take Nuna which is a matte kind of lilac-y taupe shade. Take that into the crease and I also like to take that under the eye as well. And I think this look is very 
subtle, it's nothing too much, but it's really pretty and easy to wear. To go with the purpley tones in the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner. This eyeliner is getting so small, I've used so much of it. It's the Elizabeth Violet, so it's a purple eyeliner. It's kind of a more plummy, purpley brown, so it's very easy to wear if you are scared of purples, but I love this, and I just like to take it really close to the upper lash line and then blend it out with a brush. And Again, it's nothing drastic, but it just adds a little bit of volume to the top lashes and it finishes the look. I always think I look a bit sleepy when I don't wear eyeliner. The mascara I have been using and loving recently is from Max Factor. It's their Masterpiece Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volumizing Mascara. The packaging is huge, but I like this because it's got a really small comb wand, so I feel like it really combs through the lashes from root to tip really easily. I liked the other Masterpiece mascara as well that came out before this, but I actually think I prefer this one. It's got one of those little plastic brushes and it's just instant length and volume. I use the black one, of course, I always use black. And then finally for my lips, I don't like to wear too much on my lips during spring. I just find that a matte lipstick is sometimes too heavy and I just like wearing like a little glossy balm or something and these are new from Max Factor. There's actually loads of colours in the collection. This one is Refined Rose and it is like a tinted lip balm. They come in these really handy little tubes to fit in your handbag and they're just really sheer and moisturising, but they still have good colour. There's like a red and an orange, and they have actually quite a strong colour, but in a sheer, balmy way that's very comfortable to wear and very easy to apply. I love the colour rose on lips, and I think it kind of goes with the slight purpley tones in the eyeshadow. So now let's talk about hair, and as you guys know, I hardly ever do anything with my hair. I've got very difficult, very curly hair that once I've straightened, and kind of put waves through. I just want to leave it there and you know it's really I find it quite difficult doing styles, hairstyles. But the look I've done today is very easy for people who don't like to do hairstyles. So it's definitely nothing fancy. I'm sure it won't impress many of you, but I really like wearing it in spring and I wore it a lot last year when I went to festivals. So I started with my hair already slightly wavy from this morning. I also put in a bit of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray this morning when I did my hair. And then what I do is I separate the front section from my hair and take a small section and just plait it back. So it's not a French plait, I can't do French plaits, but these are really easy. It's just a simple plait. One tip I would say though is to plait in the direction you're going because if you plait down and then you pull the plait backwards there's going to be a huge kind of bump. So plait it backwards and then I just clip it at the back using three or four Kirby grips. I do the same on the other side and you're left with what looks like a slightly impressive hairstyle but it's actually really easy to do and I think it's really pretty. I like to keep these front bits out because it flatters my face shape better and I've got lots of kind of baby hairs here that I like to cover up. But you can tuck the hair behind your ears as well if you want to. To finish off the hair I like to use a bit of serum in the ends because my hair can get quite frizzy especially when I've been playing with it. This one is from Pantene, it's from their expert collection and it's the Hydra Intensify Velvet Cream Infusion. So I just take one pump of this and run it through the ends of my hair and it kind of locks everything in place. Serums and creams are great in my kind of hair because it makes it a little bit more PC, gets rid of all the frizz and just, I feel like it's just holds together better. This also makes your hair feel really soft. On my nails I'm wearing a Soigne nail polish, I think that's how you say it, I'm never quite sure. This shade, oh it's so hard to read the shade names, this is Bleu de Gay. Bleu de Gay? I think I might have to google this and find out, I will put it in the description box below. But it's a very pretty bluey green. You guys know I love my bluey greens. This is like the darker version of Essie Maximilian Strauss, which I really, really love. But yeah, I just always go back to bluey greens. I think this is a really nice one and I, I'm really impressed with Soigne nail polishes. They always do a really good job. So that's my hair, makeup and nails done and now I'm just going to leave you with my outfit. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the hair, makeup, nails and outfit and please pray for spring in the UK. Bring on the sunshine. We really need it. Mm -hmm.